Okay, class, welcome to week six. So let's do this. Let's go through the course um, a structure first, the course setup for week six, uh, including the learning activities. And then we'll go ahead and go through the announcement to kind of wrap it all up. So I've got plenty of resources for you guys this week. This week we're talking about color, which uh, of course is a fascinating, just a fascinating topic. As we know, a col color can really destroy an ad or it can, it, it can enhance an ad. And color is a very, very, very powerful tool in design. Why? Because it just provokes so much emotion, probably more so than any other element or principle of design. I think that we can really enhance um, or control the emotions of a particular viewer based on our color choices. Um, color is, is, is not easy. It takes a lot of practice, but there are some great tools to help beginning uh, uh, and younger designers really help uh, uh, in their um, construction and application of a very effective and harmonious design palettes, color palettes. So uh, without any any more in, in that regard, let's jump right to it. Let's take a look at week nine. Well, week nine, chapter nine, take a, take a look at the, uh, read the, the chapter in the book. It's a pretty good chapter. I got a lot of supplemental material this week, though, to en enhance what you've learned from chapter nine in the book. And of course, take a look at week, week, chip, uh, week six, chapter nine, overview, and then the week six, chapter nine, lecture, okay? Now, we're also going to take a look, and we've got three other things this week. If you notice, there's no quiz this week. Hooray, no quiz. So we, we have three things that we have to do. We have to in-design in design exercise, the discussion forum, and then the logo rough. So let's take a look at each one of those. Then we'll jump over to the announcements and see the mechanics therein. Okay, so week six, in-design project. It's right here, guys. Um, it's a magazine cover, and I've added a couple of things. I'm going to add a couple of things to this. Okay, now I also want you to include text in the magazine cover, okay? Now, the, right here, follow this. Please review the following for some great details on how to assemble type in the magazine cover. And then here, you click this and it takes you right over here. It's just an image search for just a bunch of different, really super awesome, iconic magazine covers from time. And I just, I wanted to include this so give you a really good idea of how to incorporate type in the um, magazine. And now note that not one of these examples uses a stroke. So again, I think it's a great idea to learn how to apply a stroke, but I would not recommend using a stroke. Okay, so that is enough of that. That's the, the InDesign exercise. Let's get rid of that. And then we'll jump over to our next order of business, which is the discussion form. So let's just jump right over to the discussion form. Same thing, guys, no, you know, same formula. Uh, find a, a print edit, utilize this color, analyze the end, discuss the effectiveness or ineffectiveness and use of color, possible reasons for a particular choice, scheme, selection, etc. Okay, now listen, guys, uh, do yourselves and do us all a big favor and just read through the course materials before you, you try to answer the discussion question. Um, you will be privy to a lot of knowledge that you likely don't have for just reading the few, and I'll show you these, these resources in the announcements, but we'll get there in one second. But please, please read the book, read the lecture, listen, uh, watch the lecture video, uh, and, and definitely look at all the resources in the announcements before you attempt to answer week six discussion question. And then moving on, we have our Logo Roughs final project. Let's jump over here and see what we have in store here. So you're gonna submit at least six hand sketched roughs. Okay, a rough is a highly detailed. So basically what you're gonna do is this. Um, you've got, we decided, we started with three different choices. We narrowed it down to one during week five. Week six, you're gonna take your final choice and you're gonna give us six hand, hand sketched roughs. Now a rough isn't a thumbnail, guys. A rough is a, the step between a thumbnail and a, a um, comprehensive. And it's still pencil to paper, but it's very, very, very detailed. All the types should be in place. All your spatial relationships should be in place. It should be just a, a drawing of exactly what the final logo will look like. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your, you're, you're going to design six hand rendered sketched roughs, and you're going to submit those in. Those are all of the same logo guys. That's your final choice from uh, the, the decisions that you made during week five. Okay, that brings us to, let's see, we've got uh, overview, lecture, uh, exercise, design, uh, discussion forum, and then logo roughs. Okay, so that's what we have in store. I'm going to jump over to the course announcements at this point. Here we are, and this is the announcement where 
this video will reside. At any rate, so we have Welcome to Week 6. This is an introductory video on color. It's, it's, it's succinct but very effective. It'll give you a great foundation for the further um, resources in the announcement. Okay, then we come out here, just a little basic stuff on, on color. How do we choose color? Basically, two reasons. Number one is we choose color based on color theory, which is the science behind color, and we choose color based on the meaning of color, which is the psychology end of color. We do not ever, as professional designers, make arbitrary color choices. Our color choices should always have meaning behind them. That meaning should be based on science, color theory, or um, psychology, the meaning of color. Okay, really important, and here's uh, some great resources here uh, reaffirming what I just stated about color um, and your color choices. Okay, so take a look at those. They're easy, really easy, really super, super interesting stuff, guys. You're gonna, you guys are going to get blown away by this week. I promise you, I'm telling you the truth. Color's fascinating, just fascinating. Okay, then we jump into uh, this just little right here, just a little, little kind of caveat that says mastering color takes time and practice. It can be done where all designers develop a great eye for color. It's just a matter of muscle memory, doing the same thing over and over and over until it becomes muscle memory, right? Luckily, there's some fantastic tools online, okay? This video right here is an introduction to Adobe Color, all right? Take a look at that. Then we take the same Adobe Color, the same platform, and we, we give you a full-blown tutorial. Then we go to CC 2020, the brand new features are, are included in the brand new Adobe Color, CC 20, uh, 2020. Okay, now, this is great stuff, guys. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something about th this week the announcement and the lectures. This week, you're gonna get a good, solid, very, very firm introduction to color. It doesn't end here, guys. You, you, I mean, there are whole classes. There are whole whole curriculums designed on, on color specials. I've got designers, uh, colleagues that specialize in color, and, and they, they do a lot of consulting based on the psychology and the, the science behind color. So, so um, there's a lot here, guys, and don't expect that you're gonna learn it all. I've just given you a really, really <laughs> thorough introduction here. So, okay, so then we have week six, plan again, glance, week six, tasks, and of course, moving forward. Next week, we get to jump into typography, which is every bit, if not maybe more exciting than, than color. Then we start putting ty typography and color together, and bam, we just have a formula for just really engaging work. Okay, guys, so that's welcome to week six. Uh, I'll tell you what, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, clarifications, any of the above, please let me know. I'll be glad to make any um, uh, any accommodations in that regard. And of course, guys, please, please get with me. Now, you know you're not waiting me for, for answers in, in, in uh, questions via email or even general questions. And I notice a lot of students aren't using general questions, which I'm fine with that. Uh, you want to email me questions, you know you're not waiting. The point I'm trying to make is, is if you have a question, get with me. You'll have uh, answers back to you pretty much immediately. So, all right, guys, um, welcome. I'll see you guys at the discussion board, and let's have a great week. All right, guys, thanks.